It was a sunny Sunday morning, and my husband and I had invited Martha and Jeff over for brunch. We had been looking forward to a delightful morning of food and conversation, catching up on each other's lives. As we gathered around the table, the conversation flowed easily. We laughed at each other's jokes, shared stories, and enjoyed the delicious spread before us. But then, just as the pleasant chatter reached its peak, Jeff steered the conversation towards a rather mundane topic, the intricacies of office paper recycling. I exchanged a quick glance with Martha, hoping to share an empathetic eye roll, but to my surprise, she seemed genuinely interested. Sensing the shift in mood, I decided to lighten things up by mentioning that my spouse, Alex, was busy with household chores. Martha's eyes twinkled mischievously as she inquired about Alex's contributions. Oh, you're lucky to have such a helpful husband, she remarked. Jeff couldn't resist adding a sarcastic comment about his own household division of labor. Just then, the door swung open, and in walked Alex, dressed in a strikingly feminine outfit and holding a bowl of fresh strawberries. Gasps of surprise and admiration filled the room as Alex confidently made his entrance. Martha's eyes widened, and a smile broke across her face. It was a sight none of us had expected, but one that certainly captured everyone's attention. Martha's voice was filled with genuine appreciation as she complimented Alex on his appearance. Well, you truly are a helpful husband, Alex, she said with a playful wink. Jeff, maybe you could learn a thing or two from him about making your wife happy. Laughter erupted around the table, even Jeff couldn't help but chuckle at the good-natured teasing. Alex seemed to revel in the attention, effortlessly gliding around the room, engaging in conversation with our guests. His confidence and unique style became the focal point of discussion, with everyone admiring his bold fashion choices and his willingness to defy conventional norms. As the brunch continued, any awkwardness that had initially accompanied Alex's entrance melted away. The room was now filled with camaraderie and acceptance. Martha and Jeff engaged in more light-hearted banter, and our focus shifted back to the enjoyable conversations we had been having earlier. Sitting back and observing the scene, I felt a surge of pride and affection for Alex. I admired his ability to embrace his individuality without hesitation, regardless of societal expectations. The memory of this unique and memorable gathering would stay with us a testament to the importance of open-mindedness, acceptance, and the joy that comes from being true to oneself. As the brunch drew to a close, our guests left with smiles on their faces, and I couldn't help but feel a warm sense of contentment. It was a Sunday well spent, filled with laughter, acceptance, and the reminder that the most beautiful moments often emerge when we let go of preconceived notions and simply embrace each other for who we are. As the months went by, our little brunch incident continued to bring smiles to our faces. The memory of Alex's surprising entrance remained a favorite topic of conversation whenever we gathered with Martha and Jeff. Little did we know, the light-hearted banter from that day would lead to an unexpected turn of events. One evening, as we sat together over a cup of coffee, Jeff suddenly brought up the subject of our playful teasing. You know, he began, a mischievous glint in his eyes, after that brunch, Martha and I had quite the discussion. Martha grinned and playfully nudged him. Yes, we did. And you know what? Jeff decided to try out being a helpful husband, just like Alex. We exchanged surprised glances, not quite sure if they were joking. But Jeff's expression was dead serious. He went on to explain that after their conversation about roles in the household, he and Martha had decided to experiment with switching roles for a week. Jeff was going to take on more of the household responsibilities, just like Alex had been doing. We all laughed at the audacity of the idea, but Jeff was determined. And so, the next week, we found ourselves witnessing an extraordinary sight. Jeff, once the epitome of traditional masculinity, donned an apron and embraced the role of the house husband with surprising enthusiasm. He cooked, cleaned, did laundry, and even attempted a little gardening. It was clear that he was genuinely trying to understand and appreciate the efforts that go into maintaining a home. Martha was his biggest cheerleader, encouraging him with smiles and applause. She teased him about his dishwashing technique and even pretended to grade his culinary skills. 
The reversal of roles injected a fresh and comical energy into their relationship, and it was heartwarming to see them bond over their new experiences. As the week came to an end, Jeff confessed that he had gained a newfound respect for the work that Martha did at home. He realized how important it was to share responsibilities and support each other in every aspect of life. It was a small experiment that had led to a big realization for both of them. Our gatherings continued, and our conversations took on a richer dimension as we openly discussed gender roles, stereotypes, and the evolving dynamics of relationships. We realized that our playful teasing had sparked something meaningful encouraging all of us to challenge societal norms and find new ways to appreciate and support one another. Looking back, it was the brunch that brought us all closer together. Alex's unexpected entrance had set off a chain of events that not only strengthened our friendships but also ignited personal growth and understanding. And as we sat together, sharing stories and laughter, we knew that life's most beautiful moments often arise from the unlikeliest of circumstances.